He was one of Illinois' most notorious killers, but just how notorious, we don't know. It was a secret he kept in life, but he may reveal it in death. Police say they think Larry Eiler was a serial killer with at least two dozen victims, maybe as many as 50. He died in prison, but the story isn't over yet. He reportedly made some dying declarations. Eiler was arrested for the brutal stabbing murder of Ralph Calise in 1983, but released on a legal technicality. One year later, Eiler killed and dismembered 15-year-old Danny Bridges in his north side apartment, leaving the body parts in a dumpster outside. Eiler was a suspect in the murders of up to 50 other young men and boys in Wisconsin, Indiana, and Illinois. He died of AIDS at the Pontiac Correctional Center, but may have done some talking first, implicating himself and possibly others in the unsolved crime. Did Eiler leave police with clues on Little or others? Cops wish they could have talked to him first. Most people are just happy he's gone. Is he the worst serial killer? I would say yes.